bunker. Wet sand as well. Every time I go in the wet sand, it never ever comes out the way I want it to. It just, it's totally different. I just don't get it. Is this you? Bunker shots can be tricky at the best of times, but especially when the bunkers have been wet, there's been a bit of rain on there, it's certainly a little bit more tricky, and you need to make certain adjustments to help you get out the sand and produce a good shot. So, keep watching if you want to learn how to produce better shots when the sand is wet. This is Nick Does Golf. <laughs> Hey golfers, Nick here. Welcome back to Nick Does Golf, the YouTube channel designed for me to pass on my experiences from playing this wonderful game onto you to improve your game. So today I'm talking about bunkers and when they are wet. Winter is fast approaching in the UK. Great, I hate it, but the golf keeps on going. However, we need to make a few adjustments to our game because of the windy and wet conditions that we're going to be facing. Bunkers is definitely one of them. One of the biggest struggles that people have when they find a wet bunker is they don't know how to adjust and they don't know what to adjust. One of the biggest keys is your club face angle. Now a lot of people because of the sand being really wet and compact, more often than not people tend to play it like a normal bunker shot. So the face of their club is wide open just like they would in the middle of summer when the sand is lovely and fluffy. No, we don't want that. We need it to be a little bit more square because if you have it open it's just simply going to bounce off that compacted sand straight through more than likely you're going to catch the ball a little bit more than you want to and you're going to spanner it over the other side of the green now we need to square that up what this does is if you square it up a fraction it allows the bounce so this leading edge of the club here to dig into the sand a little bit more like so whereas if it was to be more flat it's just simply going to bounce straight off and through. So once you've established how you should have your club face, you can build your stance around it. So what I normally do is I determine how far open it should be. So that is square. I'm going to have it a fraction open just so I can get a little bit of height. That's going to allow me to dig the club into the sand. It's going to pop up from there. So still have it forwards. Weight still forwards as well shaft really neutral okay and you're still going to have that same wrist cock so in a greenside bunker you're still going to cock it up on the way back and through just to get that nice ball flight now another thing that i focus on is my follow through so as you would in a normal bunker shot you would follow through and get that club onto your shoulder with wet sand it's slightly different so you're still going to cock your wrist on the way back and release through to the ball but instead of following through you're going to stop your follow through roughly I don't know a couple of feet from the ball on the way through this is going to allow it to pop up so as the ball comes out it's going to come out with hardly any spin and it's going to release out to your intended target so normal backswing and then on the way through uncut and pop that is your feeling so pop on the way through stop it's going to come out and release out towards the hole hopefully so let's give that a go so build your stance club head fraction open just so it can dig in pop from there and there we go As you can see, I don't really have a lot to contend with in terms of a lip to get that ball over. It's really low, whereas if you find yourself in potentially a pot bunker on a links course, the lip could be up here somewhere. So you need to make sure that you get it out. And if you find yourself in a wet sanded bunker, you could be in a bit of bother. However, how do you get out of that? Well, you apply the principles that you would do with a normal bunker shot add those to the adjustments that you've made for the wet bunker shot and go from there so get yourself nice and low you're going to square your club face up okay you're going to have a little bit open weight forwards 
and then from there you're going to make sure that you keep that speed and accelerate through a little bit faster than you would normally this is going to pop that ball up and then with that cut off follow through very cut off follow through it's going to make sure that, that ball pops out nicely it's going to have hardly any spin on it and release out to the intended target so let's give that a go so club face fraction open so it can dig in cut the wrist speed through pop hopefully a good result something just like that so if you're struggling in wet bunkers remember square your club face up cut off your follow through and maintain that speed as you go through the ball I guarantee you if you follow these three principles you will play better out of wet bunkers especially going into the winter these are the things that I focus on especially when I get into a wet bunker it certainly helps me get that ball out every single time golfers if you have liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up ding and leave a comment down below let me know if any of these tips have helped you to improve your bunker shots if you've enjoyed it that much make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for me if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel support me on my journey as i dish out all these free tips for you guys for nothing hit the bell to get notified of every single time i upload a new video and also check out my social media platforms it is at nick golf on instagram twitter and tiktok so you can keep up to date with everything that i'm doing on a daily and a weekly basis Hope these tips help you to get out of those bunkers every single time. Thanks very much for watching guys and see you all very soon.